So crafting rares in Throne and Liberty seems like an impossible job. And you're probably here watching this video because you can't figure out exactly how to do it. You're probably here wondering how they do you get those rare lithographs to craft any rare item. Well guys, I do have some good news and some bad news. How's it going guys? My name is DPJ and I'm giving away 1000 plus Lucent. Now to win it's as simple as this, drop a like on this video, leave a comment down below and make sure you are subbed. The more I see your comments in my comments sections, the more of a chance you have of winning. I'll pick winners and announce them in a couple of days. So good luck everybody. Okay, so the rare lithographs in Throne and Liberty right now are an utter mystery. Well, for most players anyway. You're probably here wondering how you get these so you can craft that rare gear. Well guys, here is that bad news. Right now as I make this video, I don't think you can get these in this game. I've been everywhere, I've looked everywhere, I've researched all over the internet and it's the same for everybody. These rare lithographs don't seem to be in the game at all. Now I actually think there's some kind of bug going down here which has either just removed them from the loot pool or it's something the devs forgot to add in. Or there's a more sinister intention behind this to make the game more pay for convenience. I don't know. What I do know is you can't get them. So what does this mean? Well it means the easiest way to get rare gear isn't by crafting it. Crafting rare gear, no matter what it is, weapons, armors, accessories, isn't available for players on console as far as I'm aware, could be the same on PC too. These items are not available for you to craft, but you can still get rare gear and get it quite easily, which is why I help you with today. Now in a game like Throne and Liberty where progressing gear, upgrading it and transferring it is so so important. Taking a major part of the progression away halts progress to a point of you diverting your progress somewhere else obviously slowing you down. Now hopefully with these rare lithographs it's something they can fix in the near future. So if you are looking for that rare gear, if you are on the verge of wanting to transfer your green gear into blue gear to transfer all the XP, uh, there are a couple of things you can indeed do. Now I first saw someone suggest do those co-op dungeons, well guys for sure this can indeed work for you but most players probably ain't at a stage of being able to do these efficiently or that blue gear piece uh, they want isn't a part of the small chance loot pool uh, that these co-op dungeons can indeed drop. And yes by the way these co-op dungeons the loot they drop is a random, it's a random chance. There's no guarantee you'll get anything you want. I ran one dungeon last night about 10 times in a row trying to get those rare daggers. Uh, I think they had like a 6 or 7% chance of dropping. Nobody in my whole team over those 10 runs got the rare daggers. So yeah things are pretty rare guys. So although these co-op dungeons do offer those chances of getting that rare gear, it's a small chance and while there's much much easier ways of doing this. So you need rare gear. Well what's the best and easiest way to get rare gear? As I'm guessing you like many players want to progress properly like I said earlier. You want to transfer your greens into blues for progression purposes and while don't want to be wasting materials and XP you've worked towards. Well guys there are a few quick and easy ways to do this. First way is to use your lithograph book. Here guys scroll to the particular item, that rare item that you want. Let's say you need these rare daggers like I did. Here guys it's as simple as getting the items required in order to unlock these. For instance here I need 4 green rarity daggers. Once I have these guys I can add them into this lithograph book and I unlock the rare daggers I want. So this is what I do here. Select any of the items required for you to get in order to unlock that one particular item you want. Here you have a couple of options. As here you can see the actual places and enemies the item can indeed drop from. Now I ain't sure on drop rates here but I'd imagine they ain't very high. Now I personally I go to that craft section. Here guys you can see said requirements to craft this specific piece. This does consist of a quality lithograph which I will add these are much much easier to get and ain't a problem and we'll talk about how you get these in a second. Now the other materials required here to uh, craft this uh, are fairly common where indeed you might have other available options when it comes to crafting that you didn't know about which we'll come to again in a second and you'll see on screen when I start to craft these I'm pulling things from all over the place which allows me to craft certain things that I didn't think I had. But to find out the easiest way where these items are indeed required from, if you do need them, highlight the item, press to see all menus and then select the acquired from 
option. This will show you a whole host of places you can get this material. Now another place you get these materials are plenty are those open world dungeons. Here if you go buy these and have plenty of those abyssal tokens going in here guys you'll get tons of materials dropping from these enemies. Now abyssal tokens are something needed in order to farm these open world dungeons which we'll talk about later on in the video but if you want to hear more about this use the timestamps down below. But yeah there are plenty of ways of getting the other materials in order to craft the green items. But once you do have the said items, head to your local town and head to the item crafters, obviously depending on the item you want crafted. Then guys just simply craft said item. From here, once the item is crafted, head back into that lithograph book and select the add all button. This will however remove the item you just crafted from your inventory, so this is something you want to keep in mind for future reference. Now once you do this with all required items in a lithograph book you can claim your rewards and get the items you want and that right now is the easiest way to get rare items in the game what i will say is uh, the principle of the lithograph book and how it works is the same for every item here listed yep collect and farm the items add them into your lithograph book and eventually guys you'll unlock the said item rewards simple as that but yes if you want rare gear this is by far the easiest way in the game to do so so quality lithographs these are the item the main item required in order to craft those green gear pieces so where can these be obtained from well the first place you want to check out is indeed the lithograph book itself here if you scroll down you will see a whole host of lithographs you can claim by you just handing in adding in common items common armors and common weapons and these in themselves are very very easy to get now like I said earlier on in the video, simply selecting on the said item, you can see where these items can indeed drop from, as these can't be crafted as far as I'm aware. Now another easy, easy way to get common items is to go to the equipment merchants. These sell a whole host of common gear you can purchase for gold. So check out the many around the map and see if they're selling the item you need to claim that one lithograph book reward. Simple as that. Another way to get quality lithographs to craft that green armor is from the contract coin merchants. These do indeed sell them, but they ain't cheap costing from 50 to 100 coins each. Contract coins obviously come from you doing those resistance contracts. Which by the way is another way to get those quality lithographs. As certain contract managers uh, and those resistance contracts uh, you can do will reward you those quality lithographs. So yes guys, a few different ways here to get those quality lithographs quite quite easily. Okay so we mentioned the abyssal contract tokens earlier on in the video. These are an item used to farm those open world dungeons which can drop a whole host of helpful materials which will no doubt help you in regards to crafting green armors and so much more you can also get rare drops from these too which is pretty cool and very very helpful obviously you also get a whole host of armors from here too which again help with that lithograph book but again guys you need those abyssal contract tokens also if you didn't know going into those open world dungeons with abyssal contract tokens you get a ton of mastery weapon xp which makes your weapon stronger no doubt but without these abyssal contract tokens going into these dungeons is absolutely useless as enemies won't drop you nothing so it's a currency very very important to open world dungeons so abyssal contract tokens in this game are a currency that allows these enemies to drop for you giving you loot and xp towards your weapon at the same time so what exactly are these and how do you get them well the number you currently have is represented by a small grey icon thing in the top right of your screen or if you pull up your map it should be at the top of your screen. Now these are limited to how many you can actually carry, the total number here you can carry is 20,000. Now you probably already have thousands already and don't really know how you accumulate so many. Well there are a few different ways to get these, the first way is to get those abyssal contract token points which when you use them out of your inventory they reward you the amount they are named after for instance my ones here they give me 100 each upon me using them adding to my total tally of abyssal contract tokens but there are others that reward you much much higher up to a 500 i have seen so how do you get these abyssal contract tokens and token points well the most obvious way you've probably seen is by doing those resistance contracts offered at certain towns in the game 
Now they're limited how many contracts you can do, do with a cap of 60 you can grab I do believe at once and then once you've grabbed those 60 contracts you are then limited to picking up 10 per day. So keep that in mind, 10 per day after you've done a total of 60. Now you can also get these from farming co-op dungeons upon completing them, yes these do drop those abyssal contract tokens or those token points. You can also pick these up from the battle pass too and you can also guys get these from picking up those red fiery balls found in and around the map which will open up portals nearby for even more loot for you. So abyssal contract tokens and token points are used to go into those open world dungeons and farm the enemies which will then drop you uh, rewards but at the same time they will automatically use those abyssal contract tokens so yeah a great great way of getting amazing loot in the game and like i said guys going into these open world dungeons with abyssal contract tokens uh, farming these enemies will not only drop you massively important materials in regards to crafting those green and rare armor well not rare armors because we can't craft them but the green armors to fill out your lithograph book in order for you to claim those rare armors but you also get many many other great things too like i said you also get weapon mastery xp which will level up your weapons too so yeah keep that in mind but there we have it guys in regards to rares in this game i know a lot of people are confused about the rare lithographs and why they ain't in the game yep it's just craziness hopefully they fix this in the future if they don't this is what you're gonna have to do for the easiest ways again guys co-op dungeons you can farm too for rare gear but at the end of the day there are much much easier ways to get that rare gear uh, and once you've progressed past that rare gear guys the purple gear is much much easier to get and craft too so keep that in mind guys if you enjoyed the video leaving a like really helps out if you like what you see and want to see more be sure to subscribe and hopefully guys i will see you on that next one